So as we all know, fishing can be very tough sometimes. So yesterday I planned on filming this video. So I drove back 30 minutes from my school to my house, fished for like, five hours ish and I had nothing exactly to show for it. I really can't complain because being out on the water is just awesome. But when you're not catching fish, it's yeah. So today they actually stock trout in this creek. I believe they stocked both browns and rainbows. So I will have a much better chance because yesterday I just didn't see any fish. So hopefully today I can get some fish and I can make this video, man. But today I'm going for them trout because we're going to make another catch and cook video. I love watching catch and cook videos. I know you guys like it. I've gotten some comments to do more. So that's what we're going to do today. Hopefully we can catch a trout, man, if these fishing gods are on my side. So let's go see what we can do. All right, so this first spot I went to, there were no trout like anywhere. So I had to switch it up, go to this next spot where uh, there were not many trout either. However, I did hook into one right now, but uh, yeah, some stuff happened there. Also, I got my line bite. tangled with somebody else's and I thought I had a fish. Oh, that's you? Uh, I got excited for a second. I got excited for a second. In the end, I ended up coming back to my trusty waterfall spot. This is my go-to spot. Before I actually came here, I got stopped by somebody who said they watched my videos. His name was Neri, so shout out to you, Neri. Hope to see you out there fishing again soon. Thanks for watching the videos. He was an awesome guy. I felt a little weird to just pull the camera out and just start filming him, but uh, he was really cool, and I talk about that now. Yeah, you know, one thing I just gotta say real quick. If you ever see me in uh, public, like in fishing places anywhere, don't be afraid to come say hi to me. I just had a subscriber, or I hope he's a subscriber. He said he saw my videos. His name is Miri, and uh, he walked up, he said what's up. And I think that's just awesome. One of the best parts of YouTube is how you can network. And uh, shout out to Miri, man. Hope to see you out here fishing more. So right now is when something very disappointing happens. So when I'm kneeling down and I go to grab something, the uh, microphone that I use actually popped out. So the audio is just totally gone for the rest of the clips that I use the GoPro. So that really sucks. And that really disappointed me when I found out. But basically for some reason I was throwing the cursed mouse tail color out there, just steadily retrieving it. It looks like a little sperm cell kind of swimming through the water, but It ended up doing the trick and I couldn't be happier about it. I was literally so happy when I landed this fish. And this fish launches this mouse tail at a world record distance. Let me see that one more time in slow-mo right quick. There's a car coming. So I actually ended up talking to this guy who had a bag full of brown trout and he told me his secret. Um, I would have never thought about it so I'm gonna tell you guys that right when I get back home. All right, so let me let you guys in on the secret that the guy told me about these uh, brown trout and how he was catching so many. Basically what this guy was using was a super, super light and small setup. He was using two pound test, size 16 hook, which is like ridiculously small, and uh, little pieces of pumpernickel bread. And they were just killing these trout, man. They were slaying them. And you know this guy was serious because he had a tattoo of a trout on his arm. So I think I need to try that. All right, so first what we're gonna do is just gut this fish. All right, there we go, that's what we're looking for. So basically what I'm gonna do is to uh, start cutting off pieces of the meat. There's a lot of bones in trout, but I'm just gonna try to cut as much meat off as I can, and we'll get back to you when I do that. All right, so to avoid wasting meat, I uh, chopped up some of the fish, and I have some of it here, and this I'm all just gonna throw in tin foil and put it on the grill. So literally no meat is going to be wasted, but uh, yeah, it's really annoying to try to get all the pin bones and all the little bones out. So, so this is good and this is definitely more than enough for the recipe. So we are awesome. All right. So for the next step, I'm going to put this fish into a bowl, pick that up off the counter. All right. So here are the bits of trout that we cut up. There's a, there's actually a decent amount of meat in here and we are good to move on to the next step. All right, so basically what I'm doing is I'm gonna cut these three lemons, then squeeze the juice into here. All right, so when you're making this recipe, one thing to watch out for is little lemon seeds. So if you see them in there, 
or if they drop into your bowl just kind of pick them out because it'll kind of uh, mess it up a little bit. So that is enough lemon juice to cover our fish. So basically what this lemon juice is doing is that it's breaking down the proteins that are in the fish uh, kind of in the same way that heating up a fish does, but technically it's not cooked. Would I eat trout like this that are stocked in creeks a lot? Probably not due to all the uh, problems with the waters of creeks, especially my local ones and ponds and everything like that. But every now and then this should be good and this is going to be freaking awesome. So we're just gonna let this turn white and then move on to the next step. All right, so here's an update. You can see how the meat is starting to turn white. I think we just need a little bit longer and uh, it'll be perfect. All right, it looks like the process is uh, pretty much done. Everything's white and that means we are ready for our next step. So next step we're gonna do is that we're gonna pour out most of the lemon juice from our fish because we don't want too much of that lemony taste. You could use a strainer, but so that is what our fish looks like that is awesome so i've watched some videos on ceviche in the past and a lot of people uh cut up their vegetables all nice and present them all well but i don't feel like cutting up a bunch of vegetables i know you guys probably don't want to see me sit here and cut up a bunch of vegetables so i'm going to do this ceviche the quick and easy way shout out to qs kayak fishing he's the one that uh gave me the idea for this but basically what we're going to be using is uh, some Tostitos chunky salsa because this pretty much has all the vegetables we needed in it anyway. And then I grabbed some Tostitos chips. I got the hint of lime ones. I've never tried these before, but I've heard that they're pretty good. So what I'm going to do first is pour our fish into the bigger bowl. And that's all right if some of the lemon juice gets in there. We like the uh, lemony taste, or at least I do. Open up the salsa and pour some of the salsa in here. Not too much, you don't want to drown out the fish. But yeah, I'd say that's probably good. And then all you really want to do, you can stir that around and stuff if you want, but I like to go the quickest and easiest way about things. So put the dish on top and just give it a nice shake. Make sure when you do this, so you press firmly down on the plate so that everything doesn't go flying everywhere. All right, and there we go. We have our rainbow trout ceviche. This is gonna be awesome. Just a combination of the tomatoes, onions, uh, the lemon juice, just everything. There's jalapenos in there. I got the medium salsa, not the uh, super spicy, not like the not spicy at all spicy. I'm excited to eat, I'm freaking hungry, and this is a great reward after a lot of fishing. All right, here's a little up close for you guys. You can see the uh, little diced tomatoes. You can see the rainbow trout. You can see some of the onions. I smell the jalapenos. This is gonna be pretty good, so let's uh, sit down here and give this a try. I'm very excited for this. All right, let me move into better lighting so you guys can see this better. But all right, here's the first bite. Got some trout on there. All right, here's the first bite, man. That, that is like beyond amazing. I'm telling you right now, go catch a fish, Prepare it this way, use the salsa, man. You don't even need all that extra vegetables and stuff. This is amazing. I would order this at a restaurant, it's that good. This is amazing. I'm gonna go finish the rest of this, but thank you guys for watching. I appreciate all the support, and I appreciate, if you see me in public, come say hi, man. That's so awesome I met one of you guys, and let's keep this rolling. I'm having a lot of fun, and let's keep it up, man. So thank you guys for watching. Be sure to come back for the next video.